In visiting the jewel pits where Tarzan and O'Rourke are confined, Atea and Jeanette are saved from death by the ape man, who again rejects the amorous advances of the queen. In the jungle, Darno and Uka have escaped from the stockade of the Torian mounted patrol on an elephant. Closely pursued by the yellow men, their mount joins a stampede of wild elephants. In Atea's palace in the city of Tor, the White Queen, angered at Tarzan's indifference to her charms, vents her ill temper on Jeanette and Wong Tai. She tells Jeanette that unless the ape man accepts her proposal, Jeanette must become the mate of the yellow-skinned Mungo. What? Oh, you... you can't mean that you'll give me to that, that beast. You do not appreciate the honor Mungo does you. He is a noble of Tor, a great warrior who stands high among my counselors. As his mate, you will be one of the first ladies of my court. No! No, I'll kill myself first! Oh, Dr. Wong, you can't stand by and see her do that to me! <laughs> it is Dr. Wong's suggestion, my dear. Dr. Wong! You suggested that? And you told me Calm that... Calm yourself, my child. It is permitted this person to speak, heavenborn. What have you to say? This one wishes merely to make clear to Janet Burton certain aspects of the condition which my queen has no doubt overlooked. In the forthcoming combat between Mungo and Tarzan, you, Janet, my dear, will be the prize awarded the winner. That, that was also your suggestion? This one may accept the credit. Then then I'm to be given to the winner. Exactly, my child. And as our splendidly munificent queen has so wisely predicted, <laughs> the mighty Mongo will naturally be victorious. But, but suppose Mongo should not win. That eventuality has not been considered by Her Majesty. No, Jeanette Burton. It has not been considered because it is impossible for Tarzan to win against the mighty Mongo. Nevertheless... If Tarzan should win, I would go to him. That would please you. But do not hope for the impossible, my dear. Tarzan will not be the victor. Enter. Mungo, what is it? You come to report the capture of Darno and Luca? No, Atea. Dano and Duca escaped from patrol. They escaped. Uh, escaped my jungle patrol? How was that possible? Janet, Speak. you have found the key to Atea's treasure cave? No, no, but I know where it is, where she keeps it. Then get it at the first opportunity. You understand? Come tomorrow, right after her noonday rest. I'll have it. Oh, Dr. Wong, I'm so glad Lieutenant Darno and Uka got away. Listen. Dano and Uka, they are men, not they are. Men, you call them. Who commands the patrol? Vandor, son of Rutang. Vandor and Rutang. A just punishment shall be meted out to them. Go you now. See to the preparations of the arena for the Feast of Pantu games. Choose the strongest slaves for the lion pit. Aruk, Atea. Wait. Vandor and Rutang are strong men. They shall go to the arena as slaves of the golden color. <laughs> they should give a good account of themselves against the lions. Meanwhile, in the jewel pits, a strange undercurrent of tense excitement prevails among the laboring slaves. Hundreds of pairs of eager, hopeful eyes narrowly watch every move by Tarzan and O'Rourke. The guards, catching the tension in the atmosphere, move slowly back and forth behind their chargers. More and more often, the cruel lashes flash out to cut deeply into toiling, sweating backs. Faith, Tarzan, the men are watching you like hawks. I can smell fight in the air. Do ye get it too? Yes, and so do the guards. Sure, and by the actions of them, they're expecting something. Do you suppose they have an idea of old plans? If they had, it's likely they would have doubled the guards. Haluk says not a whisper has got past the slaves. Faith, and I hope not. I wish it was for tonight. Tis getting in me blood. I'm need in a good scrap to stretch me muscles. Well, just a little longer, O'Rourke. Three or four days. Darno and Uka must be in Rotor by now. Give them a couple of days to organize their fighting men and begin the march back. If they got through... They'd likely be here with us if they had failed. 
However, we'll carry on without them if we have to. Holy St. Patrick. Look who's coming through the gates. Your friend Mungo with the hair and mung tie and half a dozen others. What the devil do you suppose they want? Mungo! Look, the slaves are throwing down their picks. Hey, Tarzan, I'm, I'm betting the gang at the palace have got wind of old plans. What now, do you think? Slide over and ask Kai, look. Hurry, they're coming this way. Kai, look. What did the guards say? Why are those men here? They come to choose slaves for three games, Tarzan of the Apes, for the feast of Pantu. The strong are equipped with the golden collar. They are chosen for the lion pits. The weak, the collar of iron. They go to the fires of Tor. Are the chosen men taken out of the jewel pits? No, not until the day before the games. Good. Pass the word to the men to be ready the night before they are to leave the pits. did Kailuk have to say it, Hazan? Mungo was picking the slaves for the Feast of Pontu games. Those fellows on whom they're putting collars are the chosen ones. Ah, uh, Faith and I thought they'd found out about our plans and were coming to spy them. Because they're putting collars on plenty of them. When they get through, there won't be enough left for us. They don't take them away until the day before the games. Quiet now. They're coming. Hello, Hazan. Hello, Mungo. What sort of collar are you going to put on me? Uh, no collar for Tarzan. Or oh, Rook. He get gold collar. Oh, fight lion. Tarzan fight with Mungo. Mungo kill quick. You're sure of that, are you? Oh, Mungo kill with hands. Like this. Then get white woman for mate. Eh? What's, What's that? that you see? Silence. No more talk now. Now, what the devil did the yellow haired and mean by saying a thing like... My young and impetuous friend, Terran O'Rourke. Yeah. Uh, do you know, O'Rourke, the significance of that golden collar Mungo has just fastened about your neck? You can pass up calling me your friend, ye worm. If it wasn't for this chain around my ankles, I'd be... Oh. Save your strength, O'Rourke, for the lion pit. Oh, me, the devil take ye. Out of me sight. What did Mungo mean, Wong, about getting the white woman for his mate? Our illustrious Atea has decided to give Janet Burton to the winner of the combat between yourself and Mungo as an incentive to making the combat an interesting one. <laughs> it is something to think about, my friend. Oh, the dirty scheme in heaven. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, there was something else which I had almost forgotten. Word has just been brought that Lieutenant Dano and uh, Oka, I believe he was called, succeeded in escaping from a Torian jungle camp on the back of an elephant. I thought the news might interest you. Far from the jungle stockade of the Torian Mounted Patrol, the stampeding elephants rush blindly through the open, moonlit belt toward the distant edge of dark forest. Near the center of the herd of huge black jungle titans, Darno's and Uka's mount begins to tire. Uka! Uka! Can you not get the beast out of this? He seems to be tiring, Darno. The other elephants are passing us. Sacre! It is like trying to ride a barrel in the raging sea. My legs, they are numb. Hold fast a little longer. When they reach the jungle, they will spread and go slower. And then we shall be scraped off this fellow's back by the branches. Ah, make kill all shores. We are nearing the edge of the herd. Yes, we will soon be free of them. There are only a few behind us. 
Beyond the fringe of trees, a water hole. What? Hello, Nanda. So, Nanda. Hello, we stop here, mon ami. Only to drink and rest until daybreak, and we shall continue on our way. Ah, Pete, it is so good to stretch one's muscles after that terrible ride. Thank heaven it is over. I sincerely hope I have ridden my last elephant. <laughs> Maybe, Tuka, have you any idea where we are? Somewhere within the Rotorian border, Dono. I cannot say exactly. It will not be long before daybreak, my friend. Sleep if you can. I shall watch. By tonight, we will be in rock. Uka, the elephant is running away. Wallo, tolo, nanda, so hoi, so hoi, nanda, so hoi. You were saying, mon vieux, were you not, that by tonight we should be in Rator? It is unfortunate, Dono, to lose our mount. We must make the remainder of the trip on foot. It will not take long. Tony the Burst, what now? Voyez, look, coming across the belt. Elephants and armed riders. Quick, Dono, into the trees. It is a Torian patrol coming to this waterhole. <laughs> 